everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Loz. I talk about mental health and I advocate for animal welfare and I offer support, good vibes and love whenever you're in need of it. So if you need a little bit of that, then stick around. Alrighty, so welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for spending some time with me today. Today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about um, body confidence and self-love. Um, if you're not new here and you've watched quite a few of my videos, you probably know by now that I'm all about self-love, but I haven't talked about body confidence yet. For me, learning body confidence has been a journey and it's probably only something I've come to in the last year, if even that, um, like to a true, in the truest sense, I've definitely been working towards it for a long time. But I think I've only just truly become very relaxed in who I am and in my body within the last year. So I wanna to talk to you today about how I got there um, and some tips on how you can get there too if you're not there yet. Uh, because I think everybody deserves to feel love for themselves and to feel confident in their own skin, no matter who you are and what you look like. Okay, so I thought to myself, if I'm gonna do this video, I'm really gonna have to do it honestly. So I'm gonna introduce you all to my body and what I look like in real life, or as real life as you can get for a video, but yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna turn you around now. <laughs> so this is me, hello. Um, so as you can see, I am, I'll oh, get that out of the way. I am definitely on the curvy side. I'm, um, a little bit overweight at the moment um in fact for me i'm quite overweight um but you know what i'm still not hating myself i'm like i'm, I'm okay with it i'm okay with having a bit of, bit of chunkiness i'm chunky but i'm funky you know i rock it i work it i know i'm not at my prime peak of health at the moment and i am going to talk about that later in the video but it doesn't mean that i can't love myself so let's get to it i think like a really useful tip would be oh gosh no not that over would be learn to love yourself naked because that's who you are that's that's really who you are and that's the thing about clothing is that it cuts into you it creates extra roles it accentuates the good and bad shapes um, of your body. Like it, it changes your body. And I really struggle with that because I don't look how I feel in clothing. And something I really wanna do is hire a stylist for a day and just get them to help me find clothes that work for me. And I can work from that palette myself from there. Um, but that's like way, 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 way in the future when I've achieved all the other goals that I have. <laughs> and that, that's like on the bottom of the list, but I'll get there one day. If you're really good at styling clothes, even better. If you're not so great like me, then you can learn, but at least you know who you are and you feel confident in your body. And maybe if you're like me, you're a little bit vulnerable to how bad your outfits are for your body shape and you feel confident anyway. Like I went shopping today and I felt, I felt pretty confident in what I was wearing. <laughs> so like, I felt good anyway, so who cares? And that leads me to my next point. I don't overthink it. I don't. I don't have the mental space to think about it that much, to be honest. I, I don't care that much about what other people are thinking of me anymore. I really, really used to. Um, I really used to think, oh my God, is that person looking at me? What are they thinking of me? And now I just don't have the mental energy or the mental space to accommodate those thoughts anymore. Um, I still have them from time to time. It's only natural, but I choose to fill up my mental space with more positive things. Um, and I've really trained myself to do that over time. So it does take practice, but you know, Judgment is something we will face for the rest of our lives. We all judge each other very quickly, visually, 
party in the street and I could either choose to focus on it for the rest of my life or just accept it as a fact of life and let it go and to use my, my mental space with more positive things and that's what I've decided to do. Um, so whatever fills your heart and makes you feel good, choose to think about those things instead of being fearful of judgement or concerned about what someone may be thinking of. My next tip would be to focus more on positive thoughts, which I know is kind of like what I was saying before, but there's a way that you can kind of lead up to that. So when I was working on my mental health and my self-love and my body confidence, the first step I took is to practice not saying the negative things to yourself. So you don't have to say something positive to yourself, but when you feel yourself thinking something negative or feeling negative towards yourself, just acknowledge it, stop yourself there and dissipate the feeling. Allow the feeling to flow away. Don't feed it, don't encourage it, don't feel dread, um, and don't feel disappointed in yourself either for having that negative thought because it is ingrained in us um, and it's almost natural now for people to feel this way, um, which is so unfair of society and media to have done that to us. But don't don't feel disappointed in yourself for, you know, not having a positive thought straight away. You know, it's natural and you need to unlearn it. So acknowledge when you've had a negative thought and, and just think to yourself, okay, I've had a negative thought, I'm gonna let that go. Once you've practiced that, then you can start to move in towards making positive comments for yourself and having positive affirmations for yourself. Whether you choose to do this on a daily basis, whether you choose to do this just every now and then when you're feeling special, or if you notice yourself making a negative comment or having a negative thought or feeling towards yourself, counteract it with a positive one or counteract it with two positive ones, you know, double, double counteract it. Um, and eventually it will become habitual for you. It will become a part of who you are. Another great thing you can do is follow body positive Instagram accounts. Some of my absolute favorites are Ashley Graham, Iskra Lawrence, Kate Wosley, um, Steph Claire Smith, and Elise Knowles. All of these women are so incredibly beautiful and so positive and so confident. And you honestly can't look at them and not see how beautiful they are. And it's so contagious. And if you fill your Instagram feed with that kind of influence, it's really going to aid you in having a positive mindset towards yourself as well. There's two important things that I want to note um, before I close up this video. The first thing is I really honestly truly strongly believe that it's equally as important for men to have body confidence and self-love as it is for women. I have two younger, very annoying, somewhat beautiful brothers who I think deserve to feel self-love and confidence in themselves as much as I do. So that applies to all men. Um, another thing I want to note is that whilst you should love yourself in all states, a part of loving yourself is to be healthy, to have a healthy mindset. And this is something that I'm really working on for myself as of two days ago. Um, I have really decided that if I want to love myself, I need to take care of my body. Um, and loving myself doesn't necessarily mean giving myself all the treats that I want all the time. Sometimes it means making sure that I have a healthy heart so I can live a long, happy life. But the key takeaway from that is that if you're not in your healthiest state, it doesn't mean don't love yourself. It just means be conscious that you have to do some work and you have potential to grow. That's all it means. So I don't love myself any less right now. <laughs> 
I just know that I have potential to grow with my health and that's what I intend to do. Hopefully I'll stick to it. I do plan on getting some hypnosis to quit sugar. I have a severe sugar addiction, like a proper one. Um, and it's something that I have broken and become re addicted to multiple times um, throughout the course of the last 10 years of my life, I would say. Um, and it's really time to break it once and for all. So I'm actually going to get hypnosis for that. And if you guys are interested, I'll, I'll vlog it all for you and keep you updated. But yeah, I don't know if you can see Ollie here. I'm just looking in the viewfinder. Yes, you can. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for spending some time with me today. And um, I think Ollie is wanting all of my attention now. So I'm going to leave you and continue to give my love and attention to Ollie. But thanks so much for spending some time with me today. And have an amazing day, night, or afternoon, wherever you are. Bye. If you guys are ever wondering where Ollie and Nugs are when I'm filming, so I film over here and they sit over here. Hey girl, what's doing? <laughs> oh, buddy, you're so grumpy. <laughs> <laughs>